evening and a very warm welcome to day four here at the Johnston's Paints Tour Championship, where once again we are full here in Manchester. We will be playing to a finish this evening at the best of 19 frames. It's time now to welcome the players. We begin on table number two with China. This is the ever player. He's a three-time UK champion. Enter the Dragon. opponent, a former UK and Masters champion, with three massive wins already this season in the shootout, Players' Championship and Champion of Champions. He's the pistol, Mark Allen! Table number one, a true legend of the sport with 25 ranking titles. He's a three-time world champion, the Welsh potting machine, Mark Williams. <laughs> His opponent in incredible form, having already won five ranking titles this season. Fresh from victory at the World Open in Yushan, the ace in the pack, Judd Trump. This Johnston's Paint Tour Championship is a hit with the crowds in Manchester. It's packed again, and I'm sure the players will do their best to entertain everybody this evening. Judd Trump, though, needs to produce a better performance than this afternoon. He made a uh, few uncharacteristic errors considering the like great season he's having. Judd Trump. However, he's only two behind. 5-3 to Williams. First to ten progresses to the semi-finals. And, of course, they will play the winner of the other match tonight between... Mark Allen and Ding Jun Wee Ding 5 3 up there. You never really know when you go to a new venue what it's going to be like. It's fair to say, Ken, this is a great success. Oh, that's been fantastic. Crowds torn down their droves, queuing around the corner. This is just such a wonderful venue here, right in the centre of Manchester. Players are loving it. New venue. Some of the earpieces are quite loud tonight. May I ask you to turn them down a bit, please? Thank you. And the good news is. I think they've signed a, an extension to the deal. Is going to be here for another couple of years, which is really fantastic news. Players are really enjoying the venue as well. Wonderful venue, great queue zone. And even if you don't have a ticket for the snooker, you can just come in and enjoy the queue zone. And all that it has to offer in there. What has Judd got to offer tonight? He was pretty poor this afternoon. As you said, he made a lot of uncharacteristic mistakes. We haven't seen a lot of that during the season. He's got to start fast tonight. I'm sure it'll be a different Judd. What about Mark Williams? Always such a canny player. Yeah, he won two frames on the black, one on the pink earlier, so it's obviously made a big difference to the score line.
both so experienced though in these long matches and in big matches in tournaments expect the standard to rise if anything and of course the players feed off the atmosphere as well yeah and there's nothing like you know night atmosphere big match big tournament against a big player Both players and really relish the, the challenge of playing each other. Both, not only two of the greatest left-handers that has ever graced the game, but two of the best players that's ever graced the game. Good chance now for Trump to settle down early. One. Try and stamp some of that authority that he's shown all season. This cue ball this afternoon was not of what we come to expect. And there's another example of it. I mean, should never have been that close to the cushion. Should have been a bit straighter on this red. Seven. He actually played for the black there, and he's coming around now. If the pink doesn't go on its spot, we'll have to go on the black spot. On that red, just to the left of the black spot, well, it could be in the way. Didn't want to do that. Well, let's have a look. Yeah, pink will go on the black spot, which means unless the pink 13. pots into the left corner, which I don't think it does, but this red could make a difference. Ooh, is he on the red? 14. Is he on the black into the right centre? He's had a good look, but it may be covered. And there's an example of what was happening this afternoon. Didn't get on the initial red after the blue, and problems existed thereafter. take this difficult blue one on it. Well, but doesn't like it. He's going to wait for a better chance. Shot on 14. Yeah, reflective of the importance of the match and who he's playing as well. Didn't want to just hand Williams a chance to get going tonight. I think, I mean, Judd Trump has said himself, he does sometimes start slowly in tournaments. And I guess in the sort of flat one to eights, you can sort of get away with that a bit because early on you're not playing, you know, three times world champions. But in a tournament like this, if you do start slowly, you're playing an experienced winner and that makes it a bit of a banana skin. Well, he's been looking at this. Is it a possible tree ball plant? Let's have a look as the camera pans around. Well, looks okay. But you're never 100% sure. Can he get the right connection? I mean, if he takes it on and misses it, he's going to be leaving everything for his opponent. Is it worth the risk? Here we go. Risky. Very risky. But if it goes in, he has a chance. Not a great kiss on the pink and red. One. He's a little bit unfortunate there, you'd have to say. It could have been kinder.
no attempt at a pot here, so it's just about blue ball. Getting a good cue ball and trying to hide a possible pot for his opponent. So Trump won. Well, that's twice. He hasn't finished on a colour. Either time, he felt he would have been away and just a chance to settle in tonight and get going and show Williams how good he's feeling this evening because the times this afternoon where he clearly wasn't. Well, at the session, only 5-3 down. I mean, it could have been four each, actually. But at one point, obviously, 3-0, struggling, losing close frames. It could have been, you know, a much tougher ask tonight. Williams, of course, is here after that magnificent clearance against Tom Ford in the, their deciding frame. An unbelievable match that was. Ford had four centuries. And what a clearance it was. I mean, we were eulogising over it for quite some time. One of the best clearances I think, we've ever seen on a snooker table. And particularly the fact that it was the final frame made it even more special. But that's what he can do, Williams. Such a wonderful talent and temperament. Makes him such a, I suppose, competitive animal into the mix as well. Now, possible cut here. I was hoping for a little kiss on the red. Didn't get it, but. Good pot. One. And he's going to have his opponent in all sorts of trouble now. Foul and a miss. Mark Williams for. Great line. Just a little bit shy. He's got to be careful. He doesn't want to hit this yep. too hard because if he catches the red, he was close to last time. He, he Too hard, he will leave a red into the right centre. So he's got to be careful here. It's got to be almost dead weight. This is going to be a bit shy as well, is it? Oh, Foul and a miss. So Mark close. Williams. This time, surely. A bit more pace. Looks better, better pace, better line. Very good. That's okay. Okay, possible red along this top cushion, but highly risky. Mark Williams, very, very dangerous. One. Well, that was so brave. What a shot. I mean, if he misses that, look what he's leaving. And now, what a chance. Seven. Yeah, he's still such a dangerous player, Williams. Unique play, really. Judge Trump was actually saying that in the interview before the match. You know, he doesn't always know what shot he'll play and often take them on where others wouldn't. And the problem is, he's getting a lot of them. Eight. Yeah, he's sort of a, he's a 
like an intellectual sort of snooker player. He has all the shots. He's a shot maker. But also, he will take shots on that other players won't. But there's always another angle to it. Sometimes he will go 15. all out, gung-ho, just like that ready, just float it in. But other shots he will play with, you know, that other players wouldn't even see or even look at. Quite unique in a way, Mark Williams. 16. His temperament, his persona, his philosophy on the game, everything. Such a unique player, talent. And tough to beat, all in the mix. Thirty-eight. Forty-one. Yeah, nice positional shot. Just played for two reds. This red into the bottom right corner puck, but also this red into the left corner. Forty two. Maybe a little bit straight on this pink. Not quite sure what he's got the angle. Yeah, didn't want to be straight. He needed an angle on that pink to get back across on the right-hand side of the table. So it's gone wrong slightly. 36 points in the lead. Pink would be 42, so still need a red and a colour to be sure of this frame. So maybe hope for Joe Trump just yet. Nothing he can do with the pink, just pot it for his six points, but... takes on another colour. He's got a bit of work to do with the cue ball. He's contemplating actually playing a safety shot at the moment. This is experience. Trying to put the brown safe maybe. Yeah, on the right hand side. Protect his lead. Mark Williams, put the onus on his opponent. So very clever. Oh, my word, that was close. And, of course, because it was close, the red has stayed near the pocket. 40. I think he felt it. Might have, he might have got it. But, anyway, it's Trump's now. But, oh, one. Stop the cue ball dead, but clearly work to do in this round. Of course, this is why Williams put the brown safe earlier for this very scenario. Yeah, got a nice angle in and out of bulk. Two, possibly three cushions. Well, he's just gone off one, but that's no good.
eight. Not quite sure where he didn't go. In and out of Bork, just across the yellow spot and back down for these two reds. It was a, looked like a nice angle. Got to get these reds out in the open. Chatron, eight. Yeah, it's not bad. He's got the cover on the open red, which means Mark Williams. I'll have to play the red that's in a safe position. He doesn't want to. Sure, where he went for that, or not? But he's left the chance for Judd Trump. Two reds, the red and the green pocket, but this red into the middle. One. Pivotal will that brown be now? Eight. Remember, Mark Williams refused the pink for the six points to put that brown safe. So Trump is going to need that brown on all the colours. He's going to try and steal this frame. Played that really well. And I say that because he's got a lovely angle on the green. He could bring the brown into play, but the problem, if he does bring the brown into play from the green, this cue ball could end up on the cushion. So what does he do? Does he take the chance to bring the brown out, or does he wait and leave it for a couple of shots later? That's exactly what he's thinking about now. Do I take the chance, take the brown out? Where's the cue ball going to finish? Could go wrong, this. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. He gets the brown out, but look at the cue ball. Very difficult to get away from the cushion and have a nice angle on the yellow. Now, potting this yellow and getting on the green. Well, this could be the shot. Fourteen. the sacrifice couldn't get on the green nicely but he's back in the frame he has all the balls in the open and now he can play telling safety shot cue ball behind the blue and he's hit it too hard shot run 14 but he's back in the frame and he's done well Big chance there, though, to get Williams in trouble. I'm sure in his mind as well, he's thinking about the three close frames he's already lost in this match. Can we make sure it's switched off, please? It's been a rarity this week, a phone going off, but... Uh, if we just asking for it to be switched off. Look 
it is for a shot, and here's the slow up that the cue ball. Oh, great shot. What a wonderful shot that was. Touch on four. Oh, he's unlucky there, Mark Williams. It was a good hit. If the cue ball doesn't go into the pocket, well, Judd doesn't really have a shot at the green. It's just the side, all oh, the right hand side now. Big shot. Context of this frame. Yeah. Pressure. Yeah, I mean, you always fancy Trump for these, but it's really the position of the match. The fact he struggled a bit today caused him to miss it. Three oh, Martins. Now's the double. Is he going to steal another one? He needs brown and blue to do exactly that. Seven. Another frame today where Judd Trump had his chances... He certainly had it on the green there. But in goes Mark the Blue. So Mark Williams is the story of the week for him, really, pinching these key frames. First of the day on the pink, two more on the black, this one on the blue. It's made a big difference to the overall scoreline. Mark Williams secures the first frame of a big night of snooker here in Manchester. Judd Trump with a lot to think about because he's trailing 6-3. To the evening as it was to the afternoon and same story, Mark Williams pinching a frame. Frame 10. 6-3 then he leads Mark here. Williams. Remember it's first to 10 to reach the semi-finals against either Mark Allen or Ding Jun Wee. It was 5-3 overnight there. To Ding, he won the first frame, but Mark Allen in the second of the night has made a break of 142. That's the highest of the week. And in fact, there's only been one break higher than that in the history of this tournament. That was Ryan Day's maximum last year. So Mark Allen, a 142, he trails 6 4. Well, if he was uh, under pressure coming into the evening session, he's under more now. He can't seem to sort of get on top of his opponent here. Mark Williams, he's making all the moves. Trump had the chance at the green, didn't he? That was his chance, really, to win that frame. It is touching ball. Ball called, but he's actually on this red into the right center. Awkward bridging, but foul. Oh, foul. Shut Trump for. Wow. No complaints from Mark Williams. And what has he fouled? Yeah, we saw the red move. Good refereeing. Good pop. One. Well, let's see how important that could be, that foul. Giving Trump the chance where Williams could have been away. Yeah, Marcel Eckhart, the referee, right on the case there. Excellent ref. Yeah, absolutely. Right on point and... Uh, and I think even if he hadn't have seen the, the red move that Mark Williams, well, he would have owned up straight away. No doubt about that. Fight. Consummate professional. Now, chance Judd Trump knock this red in. Six. He really needs to start scoring. He just hasn't scored enough made you know real frame winning breaks throughout this match so far he just needs to sort of impose himself in this match keeps losing the scrappy frames 13 
It's a sad win for Ayers on one visit. 14. And that was a lovely shot. Yeah, one thing Trump's not afraid to do is get the balls open early, give himself the best chance to kill the frame off. Now, Trump is 6-3 down. 21. But on aggregate points, he's actually in front. That tells you he's been losing close frames. There it is. <laughs> but we're not playing aggregate score. 22. Tells you he's been getting close to winning frames. Getting close at this level, of course, not enough. He's got to try and keep Williams where he is in that seat. 27. Twenty-eight. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, in the nine frames that he's played, his size break is eighty-one. One frame win and sort of break, which is well, totally unconventional for someone like Judd Trump, who's made seventy-six centuries already this season. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. He's the type of player that he could go on a, a roll if he gets into that sort of mode. He could reel off frames very, very quickly. Once again, looking at a possibility of a a two ball plant to this left corner doesn't want to sort of go into the reds just yet and there once again really 41 poor positional shot from nowhere I'll look at this plant again but there's a lot of distance between the two reds there's a big gap so it's it's missable. Forty-two. Well, this was kind of the story when he was getting in this afternoon. The cue ball ended up in places he didn't want to be. Yeah, I mean, he's going to break down here again. Another frame, without a frame, when a break. And I go back to that plant. I mean, that plant was on. He looked at it a few times. He had it just played for the plant. It would have been straightforward. Shot from 42. Just getting himself into situations where he really doesn't want to be. Mm, puff of the cheeks. Not a good safety shot. Left the possible red for Mark Williams here. Well, on another day, Williams would have left Trump a pot there, but then again, another day might have knocked the red in. 
totally right. He actually played across double there on that red. Didn't get the cue ball where he should have and has left another possible pot for Mark Williams. Red up into the green pocket. No, long way away. Has he left it? This time he has. Yeah, Trump needs a bit of help right now, and Mark Williams just, uh, just struggling a little in this frame. Set up another scoring One. opportunity. Already with a good lead. contact it's just not nothing straightforward though is it tonight or indeed all day for Trump Trump eight. <clears throat> Strange frame. Now this. Williams' own standard has just dipped a little. From sort of sitting in his chair almost as if he didn't want to get out of it there. Got to regroup because he's not played well, but he could be within two frames in a few minutes. And then, of course, always the threat is he'll start to produce his best. What Ronnie O'Sullivan's done in a few tournaments this season, you know, he's he sort of been scrapping through frames and suddenly just turns it on and, you know, 20 minutes later, he's won three frames in a row. Just chipping a red safe with the 54-point lead. Yeah, well, I mean, what a careless shot to leave Mike Williams this red. OK, getting a red safe, but... Oh, good, when One. you're giving your opponent chances like this. One. Obviously trying to get cover on the blue, but... Donating points to your opponent. Eh? Six. Filling them full of confidence, yeah. Such a strange shot from Joe Trombley. Seven. Lovely shot from Mark Williams. Didn't have a great angle on the black, but had to force it. Fourteen. Fifteen. This time, cue ball a little bit shy. Twenty two. Well, he may have, may have the angle when potting this red. Can he nudge the other red away from the cushion? Just missed it. Twenty-three. Yeah, 
cannot get near the red on the left hand side cushion but it might be an idea to bring the yellow into play here put the blue bring the yellow into play because gonna need the yellow ball at some stage and then possibly leave a double on the red on the left hand side of the table be disappointed with that try to bring the yellow into the middle of the table 28 or down towards this right and corner pocket and Jude Trump will be relieved that the yellow has not moved the way it's still 28. pretty safe <laughs> a decent break from Mike Williams back in the frame Well, if Trump use, loses yeah, another close frame, you know, you wonder how he's going to win this match. In all the frames that have been close, he could have won them, including the last one, certainly this one. Such a wonderful safety shot that was pushing first. Nice acknowledgement. Mark Williams, a little tap on the table with his cue. here Joe Trump he doesn't get the right connection on this red could send a second red towards the right hand corner pocket the green pocket as we look This for a shot. What a wonderful yeah. shot from Mark Williams. Not only potting the red, but look at this. Getting the yellow into play and over this corner pocket. Great shot. Good shot here. The red for a left hander is not too bad, but how does he get close to it? Seven. So we're here again. Another close finish incoming in this frame. Caught the green, not on the red then.
Mark Williams, seven. Well, for once, he hasn't played a clever shot, Mark Williams. He'd be disappointed with that. He's left Judd Trump once again. Chance, long red. I think this shot could tell us quite a lot about how he's feeling. Oof. There we go. Nowhere near. He might have fluked it. Oof. Well, he was up off that very, very quickly. It was a nervy one. Long, long way away. And that's a result of what's been happening today. Mike Williams winning all these close frames. No chance to win another one. One. Great shot. Contemplating now, do I just drop in the green with the rest, or do I play the brown? I think playing the green might be a bad idea. Just drop the green in with the rest. No, he doesn't like it. He's going to play the brown. I think the fact that he's a left-hander anywhere across that left-hand side of the table Fine. with the cue ball should be okay. As long as it doesn't end up straight. Have a look at this for a shot. Seven. Doesn't want very, very good. Checking the scores, you're going to need them all. Fourteen. Nineteen. Well, we saw how far Judd Trump missed that last red by. He's unsettled. It's another score. He's done it again, Mark Williams. Extraordinary. The close frames. He's won five of them now in this match. And he powers on into a 7-3 lead. Two is a bit closer. It's 6-4. Ding against Allen. Allen made that 1-4-2 highest break of the week and you can see he's in front here by 12 with some sort of chance so it could be close finish over there later but as for table one we've had some close frames the but frame. they've all been won by the same man mark williams trying to break. three on the black one on the pink one on the blue and that has contributed to this 7-3 scoreline Trump was 7-3 down to Zhang Ander in the English Open final this season, and that was best of 17. Slightly shorter match, and he turned that round. This is slightly different, though, because he, he is really struggling right now. He's got to find something soon. And, of course, Zhang Ander was in his first final there. Mark Williams has played many, many, many big matches in his career. Yeah, Mark Williams is a completely different animal. Because of his experience, wealth and knowledge of the game and all the years of playing at this level. And at the moment, well, he's schooling Judd Trump, it has to be said. I mean, he will be relishing those tight frames. And Judd Trump has come up short. And every single one made some... Well, indescribable sort of errors that you'd never normally see. 
one. And he's bossing the game at the moment, Mark Williams. So it's going to take some something special. One. Trump to halt Williams' onslaught at the moment. Six. Mark Williams, six. Well, Trump getting plenty of support. Williams just slightly overcutting that one now then. Can Trump firstly get in here? One. Yeah, he's shaking his head. The cue just kept running. Pot in the black, but is this red available up into the green pocket? Does it pot? It's having a good look, shaping up. It must do. Yeah, plenty of room. It's there. Good pot. Can huh? okay. he win a frame in one visit? Hasn't done it since the sixth frame where he made a break of 81 to Trump. Eleven. If ever he needed one. Big break. Needs it pretty quickly. Well, it won't be happening here. Not on a colour. Chatron, The same, by the way, Williams hasn't beaten him for six years. Trump's won the last four meetings, including the Masters final last year. Well, that'll make you feel better. That's a good pot. One. But it's really the issue today, I think, to a large degree, has been when he's been getting in, he's just been losing position. He's been sort of chasing the white round the table and eventually breaking down. Hence, that he's only had that one frame winning break. So if he can keep a bit of control, things might turn round. Six. Yeah. And it's not like he's not getting chances. His opponent's given him chances. He's just not... Sad. He's not taken enough of them. That was a nice little connection on the red. He split these up nicely. Seven. <clears throat> Twelve. Yeah, once again, cute ball just slightly before than he would have liked. 
再清。Side of the blue, so it's going to have to go in and out of bark once again. <coughs> oh, this looks good. Needs to go past the pink. Eighteen. Well, he looks away in disgust. Is he not on this red into the left corner? Body language tells me not. There you see it. Shot from 18. be such a funny game at times I mean this is a guy Trump who's had 76 centuries this season been completely dominant along with Ronnie O'Sullivan but in this match he just cannot buy a frame win a break he's only bought one in 10 frames Oh, this would be a brave shot to take on. Black into the left center. Cue ball, career into these reds. Must go in the black. Oh, what a shot. Yeah. Very gutsy shot, wasn't Eight. it? Sort of typical Williams, of course, he has got the full frame cushion, but even so. And now he's opened them up, so what a chance to press on to 8 3. Nine. Remember before his first match with Tom Ford, he, he'd been out in China, he was saying, you know, basically 15. I've got not, not a chance of winning this match and, and I've not been practising, all that stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, here 14. we are. <laughs> you never believed him though, did you, David? In all fairness, none of us did. Just a competitive... Instinct takes over, and it did in the final frame 20. against Tom Ford with that miraculous clearance. 21. And now, what a chance to go five clear against a man who's, as I said, along with Ronnie O'Sullivan, has been a dominant force this season. Yeah, Trump has struggled. The old thing that he's needed to go right hasn't. And Williams is playing to a high level and he's pinching close frames. This one may not end up too close. Got a great chance to extend his lead to five. 29. And of course, he does a lot of work. I mean, Lee Walker's here. He's a good friend, of course, former professional. Mark's coach. 34. And they put in quality time. It might not be all day long, but it's quality time on the practice table. 35. 
42. Yeah, I think that's the key thing. It's quality over quantity at this stage of his life and his career. Oh, as he just misses an important ball. Mark Williams, 42. Well. How will that count towards the end of this match? Or will it? Could it be a turning point for Judd Trump? You know, I was watching Trump in his seat as Mark was making those, and he looked thoroughly fed up. But out of nowhere, a chance has come. Well, he's got to take this red, surely, into the black pocket, as opposed to the red into the bulk pocket. Okay, he might pot this, but this red surely is a lot easier into the black pocket. He's got to play this shot, surely. Big shot. Yeah, it's there, and he's going to be on the bill. Now a chance to try and steal a frame himself. Ball, just to drift a little an inch or two further down he's slightly hampered by the green wouldn't expect him to miss it but it's a bit awkward no it's okay seven this could be a turning point should trump go on and win the frame from this visit yeah he just has to win it doesn't he in terms of the score line, that's the most important thing. Ten. His own confidence as well. And to make the Mark Williams miss mean something. Twelve. Fifteen. Brown, blue and pink required. Nineteen. As I say in his seat, he was not looking happy at all. But you never know in this game when the chance might come. You have to be ready. It looks like he was. Yeah, and it's amazing 24. how quick it can turn. This may give him a little bit of that impetus that he's been missing. Well, he's had several frames stolen from him. He's stolen one back. Very important frame to win. Just to stay in touch here. So Mark Williams' his lead is reduced to 7-4. Now over on table two, Mark Allen was 6-3 down, he made a 1-4-2, he won the next as well, so 6-5 against Ding, and Allen in early here in frame 12. We saw, of course, a very close match there, Gary Wilson beating Zhang Ander 10-8, and the signs are this could be another tight Four. finish later this evening. Of course, Allen, he knows it should have been 4-4, he missed that blue when he was very well poised. Not much more to do to win the last frame, but that was last night. This is a new day. Five. And Alan, of course, has won three tournaments this season, so his form is there. Just a question of digging in. Of course, he was 6-1 down to Ding in the UK final last year and won 10-7, so he's been in a worse spot than 6-3, than which is what he was here. Just waiting for Mark Williams uh, to come back on table one. Tomorrow, we're down to one table, so the arena will be reconfigured. Ronnie O'Sullivan Ten. against Gary Wilson. That's the first semi-final. So another dramatic frame in a match full of them. This time, though, the difference is Judd Trump won it. 7-4. This is the last frame before the interval. Mike Williams to boot. Trump could get out of this just 7-5. I think he would see that as a big result.
Williams going in. Well, the miss from Mark Williams will see in what due course in the context of the whole match how significant it is, but in the moment it feels big. It gave Trump the chance to clear up, which he did, and now he's in immediately in frame 12. Six. Obviously, he's a, he's a top four seed, so he's coming at the quarter final stage. But even so, this is his 14th ranking event of the season. It's his 10th quarter final. So, remarkable consistency. Of course, he's won five titles. Oh, hang on. Foul. Oh, no, dear. Shot Trump, six. Mark Williams, four. Slight misjudgment. Trump sort of winced as he sat down, that was why he knew he'd left the chance One. at the long red. Mark Williams is duly dispatched. And I talk about the miss from him in the last frame, but, you know, he, he'll have blanked that for now. That's the sort of character he is. He'll just, just get on with this frame. It's more about the opportunity it gave Trump than what it would do to Williams. Three. A moment, please. Yeah, Marcel, I can't just ask a Mark Williams for a moment because the pink doesn't go on its own spot, so let's go closest to it and align the black in the top cushion. It's gone wrong for Mark Williams, unless this red to the right of the black Ten. maybe. No, he's not entertaining. If that red was a possible pot into the right centre, he may have taken it on, but no. Trying to keep it tight. Mark Williams. Ten. Such an important frame, this last before the mid-session interval. Trump, you would feel must win it if he has a chance if Williams wins it well Trump would have to win six of the possible remaining seven frames a very tall order 
However, if he gets out 7-5, he will, will give him some hope, even though he hasn't been at his usual best. Now, what's he looking at here? Is it a possible plant? Tree ball plant into this right corner pocket? He pulled off a tree ball plant earlier on. This is risky. Doesn't like it. Not a bad return of safety. Not back to the ball cushion, so another half chance for Judd Trump, but it's a long pot. Doesn't have to worry about position. Pink is waiting for him if this goes in. No. Oh. Well, has he left the red? Doesn't look like he's left the red into the left corner, so he got away with that. Just not clinical, though, in the way he has been, of course, for so much of the season in, in taking these chances. He's had a lot of them today. Yeah, and I suppose that, you know, he said such a high bar this season. Like you're expecting him to play at that level all the time. It's just not possible. Sometimes you just have off days, and at the moment, today seems to be one of those. Good pot, however. One. Stay on a red. Lots of top spin. No good. Seven. Yeah, he's a bit unlucky, really, not to land on one there. He's can't quite believe it. As I say, although he struggled at times, little things like that just haven't gone for him. It's the interval, by the way, on the other side. Six all. Mark Allen's won three on the spin. So six all with Ding. They'll be back in 15 minutes. Chuck seven. your form. I don't think he's on anything here. Judd Trump, what to miss. What a stroke of luck for Mark Williams. And that just sums up <laughs> Judd Trump's night. Yeah, he's not the sort of character that's going to thump the table, but he sort of gave it a bit of a pat. <laughs> He 
potted the pink, went into the res, didn't land on one. Mark Williams made a bit of a hash of that shot, didn't leave him in. Snooker gods having their fun this evening with him. Trying to hide the white behind the green there, but it's gone terribly wrong. Oh, not a good shot from his One. opponent. So, but they missed those reds and try and get on maybe green or pink from that red. The thing is, Mark Williams, he can handle playing badly or making mistakes or things not going well better than most. So, Quite prepared to, okay, just scrap it out, try and get another chance. Keep things tight, put pressure on. Mark Williams won. That's what he's done there. Should Trump. That's all he could do. Always knew he was leaving a test there for his opponent. <laughs> Good pot from One. Mark Williams. A little bit unlucky with that kiss on the red. Otherwise, he may have been on the pink for a pot. Mark Williams won. But once again, dominating these scrappy frames. get out of this and keep it safe.
following the miss. Mark Williams, five. Oh dear. So, Williams gets another chance here. One. Six. Seven. Thirteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Staying on the blue all the time, building a nice lead. Thirty two points now. Twenty four. Twenty five. Come too straight. Is there some sort of an angle on the blue to try and get back for one of these reds? Maybe slight angle. Yeah, very good. Look at that for a positional shot. Beautiful. Red and blue will put up 44 points in the lead with just 43 remaining. 31. Proper match play snooker for Mark Williams. Exactly. I mean, he was making a few errors himself, but as I say, he was prepared to accept them 36. and just played the right stuff, got some snookered, earned the chance, and has done enough to get to the snooker's required stage. Terrible error again from Judd Trump. He's going to find himself in all sorts of trouble here. Yeah, good shot. <laughs> Worth saying that in the first tour championship, these two met, it was best of 17 then. Williams led 8-5, Trump beat him 9-8. So he can, of course, turn it round, but improvements in all areas will be required when they come back after the interval, assuming this is 8-4. Yeah,
Ooh, the green was a bit close to the pocket, but okay. this red go it's pretty tight isn't it i think it does part but will he take the risk he doesn't have to he could just play green here with the cue ball knock the red up the table yeah how do you like them apples too much it would seem. So Mark Williams. Bit more security Four. for Williams in this frame. Two snookers needed now. He's a wily character, isn't he? <laughs> Mark, he's been a pro thirty two years. He knows every move to make. One is that for this frame. So Judd Trump is going to have to win 6-1 effectively when they come back after the interval. It's a tall order because he's not scoring, that's the problem. He's not making the sort of breaks he's been making all season. Eight. Little things are going against him as well. And Mark Williams, he's just looking after his own stuff. He's won Mark a Williams, succession of close eight. frames. He did lose one frame. tonight, but... And resumed with a 5-3 lead, he's extended that advantage to four frames at the interval. Two away from the semis, leading Judd Trump, 8-4. It's... Jill, two more frames okay, required frame. by... Judd Trump to break. Mark Williams, a daunting six needed by Judd Trump. Six out of seven. Nothing evenly contested about the match in terms of frames won. But in terms of balls potted, pot success rate identical. And also the actual number of balls potted. 179, both of them, out of 202. I think it's fair to say, Alan McManus, this deep into a lengthy match, for these two to both have dipped under 90% pot success rate, that is unusual. Yes, it is. There's no question that I think especially Judd with the season that he's having, but you can't turn it on like a tap every time you go out there. You're going to have bad days. Today's been one of those, but he's still in this match. One thing we do know is he won't give up because uh, Judd doesn't do that. The only time they've met in the Tour Championship was five years ago. Trump trailed 8-5-1-9-8. Will history repeat itself? Right now, it doesn't look likely. Seven. You see there the lack of reaction on the cue ball without making excuses. We're on a, a day four cloth now. Fourteen. So you can't spin the cue ball. Fifteen. Anywhere near as as much as they could do Monday, Tuesday. Not making excuses, that's just a plain fact. put the 
revs. There's a little Mark spin. Williams. You like that. Even you know, he's playing it with a tracer left. But if you're playing it with a tracer left to throw the black thinner. I'm not saying that was the case there, but it, it just doesn't react the same. The spin comes off the ball a lot quicker. Mistakes continue. One. Very good. Piece of ingenuity there. And he was smart to play at a pace where he knew the black wouldn't spring too far. Doesn't like this. I'm just talking about spin. Not going to be easy for, even for Judd to generate the pace on this. He goes in a bit dead. You're definitely right about the table being less reactive as the days Eight. go on. And I would also say it's been less reactive as this day has gone on. Tables, of course, Mike. will be recovered for the semi-finals. And so that issue will be resolved. But you might think, well, surely four days. That's hardly anything with these cloths. It's a lengthy period of time. And of course it's nuanced. But these guys play to such small tolerances. 15. Twenty-three. Judge on twenty-three. It is the basic tenant of good snooker technique to keep still. Alan McManus, actually, my co-commentator, was highlighting earlier today how still Ronnie O'Sullivan was yesterday. That was the polar opposite. One. No, a fabulous part. Yeah, he, he, he was upset some for it, Jack, wasn't he? You would think he has to pull the trigger on the pack this time. Mark Mistakes. Williams. Plenty on both sides of the fence at the minute. He's happy to just pick them off and keep it as simple as he possibly can. Six. We always talk about his temperament. It's the mindset. It's accepting what he's got with him on any given day. Have his best stuff, but... 
he always knows how to get the best out of himself or the best Cameron. that he can on any given day. He's also a past master at not forgetting mistakes, but Twelve. reducing their impact on his psyche. Just 13. gets on with it. He won't mind it being scrappy as long as the, the scoreboard's in his favour. The last twice they've played, semi-final of the World Championship in 2022, Williams made four centuries and lost. Final of the Masters last year, three centuries and lost. I know what he'd prefer. 19. To make nothing of note and win. Okay, the looks like one cushion plain ball for the straight pink in the same pocket. Anything straight. Twenty-five. And the job's a good one. Just one more red with colour. Thirty-one. Thirty-eight. When we arrived here today, of course, we thought Mark Williams could win. He could beat anyone, anytime, anywhere. But the way the match has panned out, that's the surprise. Mark Williams, 38, and the frame. Leading numerous snookers, Jeff Trump concedes. And it's going from bad to worse for the man who's won five tournaments this season. Mark Williams, it seems, has got this match in his pocket. One more required. Thanks to the down place, the 14th frame. A possible six to play. Mark Williams to play. Judd Trump needs one of the most extraordinary comebacks of his career to pull this one out of the fire. Over on table two, by the way, the comeback of Mark Allen continues. At his worst, he was 6-3 down to Ding Junhui. Now it's 7-6 to the man from Northern Ireland. Is. 
That is a beautiful shot. Eight. Nine. There you go, reading conditions, doesn't like the cloth, it's not spinning, so you go for the two reds in bulk. And you work off half ball green or half ball brown 16. to get the bunch open that way. 17. Obviously gesturing at the uh, blue there, so. Twenty-two. Yeah, that's not bad. Not a brilliant target. But is this the payoff for reneging on the low black? There you go. That's what thinking does for you. Yes, he's not out of the woods. He's left quite a nasty shot, but a tremendous little passage of play. Twenty-eight. That's the other thing with Williams that makes him such a formidable match player. He never overextends himself on any shot. He knew not to be too outlandish with that positional attempt there, even though he's on the incorrect side of the blue. As Alan said, take what's there. 33. Thirty-four. Honestly, is it's brilliant because he, he he played this these last few shots simply on conditions. Judd Trump is a colossal figure in snooker, but the Tour Championship has not been a happy hunting ground for him. He hasn't won a match in this tournament since 2020. Quarter-final defeats in 21 and 22, and he didn't qualify last year. But there's still just a glimmer of hope after Williams makes a hash of the black. Mark Williams, 42. Yeah, he's looking for almost a little burn market. That's what you get sometimes. He's gesturing that... Thinks he got a heavy contact. We'll never know, I guess. One. Good pot. No. What does Judd have left? That really is. Six. The one mitigating circumstance, I will say, for Trump today, he's not played well. He's played miles below his best, but he hasn't had the best of run either. I suppose the two things go hand in hand. Trump six.
Juan. Every credit. For not playing that as a shot to nothing. He's looking to somehow make something happen. Might just happen as far as the Reds go, if he can land nicely on one. Loosely packed, aren't they? But they're not really on. They have Five. to play some sort of cannon again. Yeah, those two that are not quite together. Try and find the gap that's not the well there isn't one, but you you get the meaning. Yeah, those two. Good shot. Well played. <laughs> yeah, it's a bonus. He didn't mean to flick the pink Ten. into the, the open, but it was nicely controlled. Eleven. Now, when you're not feeling too good, when your confidence is at rock bottom, this kind of shot with the cue ball close to the side cushion can be a problem. Shot trying to be level. You just sensed it. Yeah, good call, Felt. One. And again, as before, Mark steps in to pick up what's left. And what is left is, under normal circumstances, quite a straightforward put away for him. Twenty nine oh. in front. Two reds with high value colours. And he'll be in the semi-final. And of course, this has immense rankings significance because it means Ronnie O'Sullivan will go into the World Championship as the world number one. Assuming Williams does cross the line. Ten. That was superb, just to pretty much seal the match, and he shouldn't even be here. The clearance against Tom Ford was a thing of wonder. This will be satisfying for Mark Williams, his first win over Judd Trump since the semi-finals of the German Masters in 2018. 15 to frame in the match. It was a scrappy final frame, it was a scrappy contest in general. And it was, in terms of frames, won a comprehensive victory for the veteran, the evergreen Mark Williams. Beating Judd Trump by 10 frames to 4.